Today I, I have a Delta printer to show you. I've never been a big fan of Delta printers, but I also never use one. I know that Delta printer is good for uh, printing model, model statues like the long vest one, but I prefer functional prints. This one was sent by a local Shenzhen company. The printer's name in Chinese, uh, the first character is B, the second character is Qi. So combining those two characters together, we are going to call it the VQ printer. On the top, they've got the magician menu. I hope they uh, fixed the menu. I think they did because the first uh, uh, one it came out pretty bad. So I told them they need to fix it. Let me take a look. So this one is the old one. The English is pretty bad, but uh, I think they're going to put the new one when they're going to ship the product. And they also have a PDF for uh, instruction for you to download online. Please cut off the strap on the belt. So underneath the hot end, it comes with uh, these accessories. Here it comes with the filament also. What is this? PLA. It comes with a PLA uh, filament.
you have to uh, put the screw in the center so Now I'm just trying to get the filament into the extruder. This is a Bowden style. It's nothing to do with this particular printer. I'm more used to uh, direct drive. And uh, for Bowden style, it's kind of tricky to put the filament into the uh, extruder. Okay, I'm just going to plug it in now. So this is the interface. I'm going to get the hot end heater first so I can load the filament. So click here, heat, and this is PLA, so we are going to going to heat PLA. Okay now it reached to the ideal temperature. Let's go back to the menu and let's select move and uh on the first uh, line, there is an E-axis. Choose the E-axis and 100, and then click Increase. Now the filament is coming out. Okay, that's it. Go back to the menu and go to heat. 
you can click AC or you can there is um, like uh, this here you can turn like a DJ you can turn down the temperature or you can just hit AC to reset it to uh, zero now I'm going to level it I'm going to put the sensor on but remember uh, put this little black firm on that uh, on the first And then put the foam underneath the hot air. Now the leveling is finished. I got the model of Nuban, the patron saint of makers. But uh, now I have to rotate it first to 90 degrees. Uh, it's still too big, so I have to scale it down. I guess about 145 millimeters. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, and now I have to move it to the center. I'm still getting used to the Cura program, maybe arrange all models. Okay, that does it. Um, now it's slicing. Ready to save to a removable drive. Okay, save to a removable drive. Okay, now it's done. Let's go print it. Now I'm going to insert a SD card and then I'll print the model on it. Hit print. I just took the model off the printer. Um, the resolution looks nice. The layer line is 0 0.1 millimeters. So I'm pretty happy about it because it's my first uh, print and it came out nice. But uh, later I'm going to take some still pictures or maybe videos to let you get a close look of it. But uh, now let me move the support first and, uh, and then I will show you. Looks pretty good. Hold on, let me get a better angle of it.
So that's the BQ Magician printer. Uh, there are uh, some minor issues like the QR profile comes with it. It's a little bit dodgy. I've spoken to the boss. He said he's gonna take care of it. I'm going to do more tests. If there is a test you want me to run, please let me know in the comment section. And if you don't care at all, you just want to buy it, I will put the link in the description box. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.